so looking forward to getting into it i haven't got a clue what pokemon are available i've heard some things about there not being a lot of fire types so that's probably gonna lead me towards getting the fire starter fire start pokemon pokemon start fire fire start pokemon twisted fire starter um so yeah we'll probably look to getting him i've seen a lot of people saying you should get the fire starter he, he's fire starter po how do you say that the fire type starter pokemon there we go should get him how you doing jt you all right cheers for checking out the stream again yeah we're gonna play some shining pearl i've been told that we should get the fire starter uh the starting pokemon as there's not a lot of fire pokemon in this game and he's the best out of the three so it's probably what we'll do let's set this up cheers sensational stories how you doing cheers for the luck hello there it's very nice to meet you as it is you some station uh, welcome to the world of pokemon thank you very much rowan hi rowan my name is rowan however everyone just calls me the pokemon professor this world is widely inhabited by creatures known as pokemon We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together and at times we work together. So no. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. You really get closer bonds with Pokemon by battling them. No worries, buddy. What do you do? What are these cycles you talk of? What do you do as a job? Uh, what do I do? I conduct research so that... This isn't you, my J JT. This is Mr. Rowan here. I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Oh, which one? It's probably that one. I've got really blue eyes, but I don't have blonde hair. There's never one that has blonde hair and brown... Blonde... Blue eyes, brown hair. It's probably the closest guy. That'll be us. Ah, I see. CNC mills to make manifolds blocks. I see. So you sort of set them off and then they do its thing. And then you have to, when it's all finished, you have to sort of like restart it. I get what you mean. How are you doing, Agent Cheese? I have not got a clue. If you tell me how to find my friend code, <laughs> I'll find it for you. I have no idea how to find it. I can't believe you lost, uh, what's his name? What's his name? Duke? No. How, what do we name him? I can't remember what we named him. Duke Doofen? Doof Nukem. That's it. That was it. I can't believe you lost him. So upset. Yes, it is. Simon. Yes, I am. A fine name that is. Thank you, Rowan. Not as strong as yours. Now, this boy here, I believe, is your friend. Is he? I like how these games force friends on you. 15 minutes. That's, that's a pretty quick turnaround. Keeps you busy, I'm guessing. What might his name be? What does he look like? Uh, Ralph? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I can't... Let's... I, I like going uh, traditional. Let's go Gary. I do like going traditional with this with the enemy. Gary, is it? It's your friend's name. Or... It, yeah. Something like douche. Alright, Simon. The time has come. The only tale of Grand Adventure is about to unfold. No worries, JT. Cheers, buddy. I'm sure that along the way you'll discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now go on. Leap into the world of Pokemon. I was a bit late today. My uh, GoXLR was messing up. The audio was a bit funny for some reason. 
Despite the exploration team's best effort, the rare, oddly coloured Pokemon eluded detection. The rumoured red Gyarados failed to appear even fleetingly to the crestfallen team. Look at me. Look how big my head is. That concludes a special report search for the red Gyarados. Brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week, same time, same channel. This ain't gonna be a uh, Nuzlocke Agent Cheese. Not confident enough for that. I'm not good enough for the games yet to do that sort of challenge. Hopefully soon though. Oh my god, look at me. Oh, who are you? I'm guessing you're my mum. Simon Garrickin calling for you a little while ago. He said it was an emergency. Okay. Is that it? That's all you've got to say. Oh, yes, Simon. Don't go into the tall grass while Pokemon might attack you. It'd be okay if you had your, po your own Pokemon, but you don't. <laughs> Kick me while I'm down, Mum. Cheers. Alright, what's in here? Summer's house. What's that say? Twin Leaf Town, fresh and free. Hello? What are you doing? It's true that wild Pokemon do attack people sometimes, however, Pokemon also let you become friends with them. Where am I supposed to go? You look like. Hi Simon, Gary's looking for you. Are you not Gary? I thought you were Gary. I think he's home now, why don't you go check him out? Gary's house? Oh, that's the same house. I thought he had a bigger house than us. Thud. Here he is. Look at his cravat. What was that about? Oh, hey, Simon. I'm going to the lake. You should come too and be quick about it. Okay, Simon. I'm finding you one million if you're late. See, we knew this guy was a Gary. Oh, geez. Forgot something. Yeah. You need to leave the door open for us. Oh, hi, Gary's mum. Oh, hi, Simon. Are you looking for Gary? He was gone for a second, but then he came running back home. Just can't sit still, that boy. I wonder who he takes after. <laughs> Is it his father or the milkman? Oh, hey, Simon. We're going to the lake. I'll be waiting on the road. It's a 10 million fine... Whoa, that's increased. It's got a switch. Not OLED though, is it? You check the PC screen. Adventure rule number one, the X button opens the menu. Adventure rule number two, record your progress with save. There's nothing else on here. Where? There is poke... Poach? There is joy. What's poach? No idea. See you, Gary's mum. Where are we going? We're going to the lake. Was that just down here? Can I run yet? Oh. Go meet Gary. Okay. You can play with people around the world wirelessly. Alright, you said that. Why can't I run? I haven't learned how to run yet. Obviously, got to wait for the instructions. Was I late? How much do I owe you? Hey, you saw the news report that was on TV, right? You know, search for the Red Gyarados, the mysterious appearance of the furious Pokemon in the lake. That show got me thinking. I bet our local lake has a Pokemon like that in it too. So that's where we're gonna, what we're gonna do. We're gonna go find a Pokemon like that. S straight to the Gyarados. Oh, oh, we're moving. Is it this way? I'm guessing I can't go the other way. Pretty lakefront. Through here? Alright, to the lake! Let's find some red Gyarados. What's going on? <laughs> See you in a bit, JT. Professor, there isn't anything out of the ordinary on the other side either. Hmm. I may have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than it was before, but... Fine, it's enough that we have seen the lake. Dawn, you, you, we're leaving. 
Professor, how are you enjoying being back in Sinnoh? After being away for... Sinnoh? After being away for four years, it must be exciting again. I've never met Rowan, so... Is he in another Pokemon game, I'm guessing, that I haven't played yet? Sinnoh? Sinnoh wasn't the third generation, was it? Fourth? Or is this the fourth? This is the fourth, isn't it? There's one thing I can say. There are many rare kinds of Pokemon in Sinnoh. The region should serve us very well in regard to our studies. No worries, Agent Cheese. Cheers for the lurk. Cheers for checking out the stream again. Yeah, I'll try and find out what my uh, friend code is and I'll send you a message or something. Either on Discord or on this. On Twitch or something. Cheers, buddy. What was that about, those two? This guy's hair is mental, isn't it? It's like he's got three ducktails. Simon, let's go check this out. What's that? You don't want to go into the tall grass? No problem, no problem. You won't be in there long enough for a wild Pokemon to come out. I don't... He's just left his briefcase. What are we supposed to do? We can try to return it, but who were they? I heard them say Professor. Uh-oh. It's a Pidgey, isn't it, Agent Cheese? Look out for these Pidgeys. I know which one I want. I don't want you. Sorry, Turtwig. We will have Chimchar. Yeah, and wasn't a fan of the others, what they look like. Apparently, I should go for Chimchar, so we'll go for him. And I did have, I had a follower since I've been offline. He's one of my friends that I work with. So we'll just name this after him. What's it going to be? Sporadic Toasty. What a quality name for a monkey. We can only battle. Lovely. Oh! Beat him in two. Your Chimchar totally rocked, but my Piplup was way tougher than yours. They were other people's Pokemon, but we had to use them. Those people won't mind, will they? Uh-oh. Is she going to take the last one? Is she? Dawn. Well, there's the briefcase. The Professor would have been furious if I'd lost it. Uh, oh no. Did, did you use the Pokemon that were in here? You did? Oh my gosh. What's the Professor going to say? This is not good. I'll take this briefcase for now. Let's get out. Let's get out of the... The grass. What was that about? I'm guessing that in this game it's not going to have the Pokemon. You won't be able to see the Pokemon in the grass. It will just be Russell's again. Or you just walk in the grass and it's... You just They just appear. Because that's what I really liked about Sword and Shield. The fact that you could see them out in the wild. Which is really good. You go ahead. I know we have to go return these Pokemon, they're not ours. I just want to spend a little more time with this little guy. Hey there, Professor. Hey, it's those people. Is that old guy staring at us? Hmm. I heard from Dawn that you used our Pokemon. Let me see them, please. Jim Char and Pipla. I see, that's how it is. Dawn, I'm going back to my lab. All right. I could professor please wait for me. I think you should visit our lab later. Okay, see you. Is that his daughter? Or his assistant? Or what? His protege? I mean, if he was angry, he could have just yelled at us or whatever. And didn't he want his Pokemon back? Simon, we should go home too. Let's go. Oh, it's just taking us there. What's up, dear? Wow, I can't believe that happened to you. <laughs> am, I ever, am I ever glad that both you and Gary are unharmed? The professor you mentioned is most likely Professor Rowan of Sanjem Ta San Jim Town. I've heard that he's well known for his studies on Pokemon. I hear he's also quite intimidating. Say that. Simon, I think you need to visit him in Sanjem Town. 
You need to probably explain why you had no choice but to use this Pokemon. Don't worry, I'm sure they'll understand. Of course you will, because it's a Pokemon game. It's not going to be a plus 18, is it? Oh, I know, Simon. Put these on. You received a pair of running shoes. Thank you. Oh, I was wearing the wrong shoes, of course. Huh. Couldn't, I can't expect to run in my Crocs, can I? Going to Sun Gem Town is like an adventure in itself, right? With those running shoes, you can get far away places much faster. Okay, let me read the instructions. Tilt the left stick firmly and dash about faster than ever. So you just move. There isn't like a button to press or anything. So I can walk. Then run. Huh? So I've got to get to Sun Gem. Let's go this way. While Pokemon lurk in tall grass, they can come bursting out at any time, so if you're wanting to battle wild Pokemon, just walk in tall grass. If you want to avoid wild, wild Pokemon, then stay out of the tall grass. Simples. Hi. If your Pokemon health, its HP is getting low, you should go home and get some rest. Oh, I can't. That was a bit slow from stopping to go into the battle. The mighty Bidoof. Heard all about you. The legendary Pokemon that is Bidoof. So yeah, I haven't got a clue what my team is going to turn out to be. I'm just going to see what Pokemon we come across and go from there really. I have seen that apparently there might be, might be able to get Ampharo Ampharos this game which is one of my favorite probably my favorite electric type so I may try and find that find a, a reap that was a bit quicker there we go oh, we found a legendary again another legendary Pokemon I like it's using the uh, generic battle music. Level up! And we learned Emma. He was dancing to the music as well. Did you, do you want a battle? You work at the Pokemon. Do you know that Pokemon's health is measured by hit points, HP for short? If Pokemon runs out of HP, it faints and can't battle anymore. If Pokemon's HP gets low, you should heal it with a potion. Here, let me give you some potions as a sample. These ones are free. They will automatically go in your bag's medicine pocket. Thanks. Run! No, do you want to say something? That led is one way you jump down for a shortcut. 20th turn. Don't you? We know this. Hey Dawn. Please come with me, the professor is waiting. Dawn is our friend, I reckon. Gary's our enemy. This is it, our Pokemon Research Lab, let's go. <sighs> Gary. What the? Oh, it's you, Simon. That old guy, he's not scary so much as he is totally out there. That old guy, he's not scary so much as he is totally out there. Oh, it doesn't matter, Simon. I'm out of here. See you later. Don't speak English. Well, what was that? Your friend sure seems to be really important. Well, anyway, let's go inside. Hi, Rowan. Finally, you've come. Simon, was it? Let me see that Pokemon again. I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alrighty then, I'll give you Chimcha as, as to you as a gift. Now that it's yours, would you like to give it a nickname? Yes, I do. We're naming it after my mate Sporadic Toasty, if we can want to. No, we can't name it after that. Uh let's see what we can name it. 
just go like this for some. So we've got one more. Spot toasty. Let's. Can we go back? I'm sure we can. Yeah. Sporo toasty. Sporo toasty. After mate. Yeah, we're happy with that. Your friend Gary told me that what happened at the lake. I heard you battled very well despite it being your first time, and from what I can see, there is a growing bond between you and that Pokemon. Spora Toasty. Though it's still young, that's why I would like to entrust you with Chimchar. His name is Spora Toasty. I can't even say it. Spora Toasty. I'm so glad that you're kind towards Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd have to. Oh, I just can't say it. <laughs> Murder you. Ahem. Let's move on to the main topic. There is something I want you to do for me. My name is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. Yeah, this is the first time we're coming to it. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. We, he doesn't even know what we want to do. We might just... We've just used his Pokemon. Now he's like, go on this quest for me. This is what I wish... For to ask of you, I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. I just want to go home and live out my days with my sporadic toasty. Use it to record all the Delta Unseen for me. What if I say no? <laughs> I can stand here without speaking for hours. <laughs> I'm a very patient man. Let me ask you again, Simon. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to record data on all the Pokemon in Sinnoh for me? No. <laughs> I could stand here without speaking for hours. I'm a very patient man. Okay. I guess we have to. Good answer. <laughs> you obtained the Pokedex. Still not going to do it. That Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Simon, I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I've got one too! When you walked down Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? The wind in my hair. I've lived for 60 long years, even now I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Now, you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are just as many thrills awaiting you out there. Now go! Simon, your grand adventure begins right now. Right now. The Pokemon that I used for the first time was Turtwig, the one that's left. If you would have chosen Turtwig at the lake, we'd have the same Pokemon now. No, that's not how it works. Not that it matters, but anyways, I'm Dawn. I also help the professor add pages to the Pokedex. So in a sense, I'm just like you. I just got a little head start on you, that's all. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Simon. To his Dawn. Look at these scientists busy at work. What are you researching? Professor from the Kanto region. <gasps> professor Oak. I'm Dawn's father. I'll be happy to assist you on your quest with the Professor. Haha, <laughs> I'm sure we can count on you. Does anyone watch uh, a YouTube channel called Viva La Dirt League? There's a guy in there called Rowan. And now I can't get this guy. <laughs> hey, Sloth, how you doing? You alright? Has your uh, stepson got this today? Yeah, this guy. I now cannot get Rowan from Viva the Dirt League out of my mind. That guy's now him. Hey, Dom. Okay, someone I'll act as your mentor. I've got a bit more experience than you as a trainer and the professor's assistant. Okay, follow me. Ah, okay. Nice one. I'm sure he'll like that. I remember getting, well, I got Pokemon Blue years ago, obviously, as a Christmas present, best Christmas present I ever got. So I'm sure he'll be happy. You can find a Pokemon Center in most towns. The building with the blue roof over here is the Pokemon. It's a shop where you can buy and sell items in medicine. You're not liking the look of it? Yeah, I'm guessing you've played it before. Have you played it before, Sloth? I, I've never played it before, so I've got nothing to sort of compare it to. Well, I can't compare it to the, the original. 
Don't let it bother you. Oh, that's right, Salmon. Don't you need to let your family know that you're going to be helping Professor Rowan with the Pokedex? You may need to travel pretty far, so I think you should let someone know. Oh, but before you go, heal up at the Pokemon Center. Lost that scary that way. Okay, bye. Ah, okay. Played Diamond. Yeah, I never... Never played them. I went from... What a game. Ruby Sapphire to X. And then to Sword and Shield. So, missed out a few few other games. So yeah, I can understand if you've played one of the originals and you're comparing it to that. So I've only got the others to compare it to. Probably unfair to compare it to uh, Sword and Shield, considering this is like a remake. Are we facing? Are we fighting? Let's fight! Simon! Did you tell your family? Oh, no. No, I know. You're really eager to see all kinds of Pokemon. You shouldn't take... You shouldn't make your mum worry that you've disappeared. Do I have to go all the way back? Or can I... No. Are you going to battle now? Yeah. That's something that I agree with you. I think they should have made it more sword and shield. Don't think it looks don't think it looks too bad, but yeah, it's nothing compared to sword and shield. You're right. Hi mum, I'm going. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? Take a quick rest here. What's up, Simon? It's a bit weird for a mum to say. Wow, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big? Okay. Okay! Dear, go for it. Your mum's got your back. Oh, I know, Simon. You, I've got something that you'll find useful. Come read today. Guidebook. What is a, a guidebook for? That's a guidebook. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to swear. Take a look at it. When you are curious about something or have questions during your adventure, you may find an answer. Gee, a full a journey full of adventure, I envy you, kiddo. Is this woman actually our mum? Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you, I wish I could go instead. I'll be alright by myself, dear. So you go and enjoy your adventure. What's weird as well, I noticed this, so Pokemon Sword and Shield, they wrote mum in the English spelling, whether it's for our our version of the game, but it was M-U-M, -M. but in this one it's M-O-M. -M. Strange. Make your mother happy too. Yeah, I know what you mean, it's got that sort of like, childish look to it, hasn't it? The guidebook, useful information for your adventure will be added to this guidebook, you can check it in your Bag's key item. So that's like my to do sort of stuff. Excuse me. Is my little Gary here? Oh no, he's not. Oh, then he must have left already. What to do? That boy shouted about going on an adventure, then he bolted. He's a headstrong and reckless, so I at least wanted him to take this. Not to worry, Sam will deliver it to him. Won't you, Simon? Do I have to? Oh, really? You'd do that for me? Simon, please take this to Gary for me. You obtained the parcel. I wonder what's in it. Bye-bye, Simon. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think, knowing my boy, he would probably head straight to Juba Life City. Okay. Please take that to my Gary. Oh, Simon, you're forgetting something important, am I? Do I have to set my clock? Oh, I've got a hat. Was that just the... the sound for me collecting something? Yes, that's all. That hat always did suit you well, Simon. Now off you go. What is that? I'd rather it without the hat, to be honest. <laughs> 